We all know inside Power Apps we have something called Combo Box, and recently we even have Modern Combo Box. Combo Box has a property called Items, so basically whatever that we want to show as the options for the user to pick up from, it's called Items. But at the same time, we have another property called Selected Items. Selected Items is a subset of items inside a Combo Box that the user has selected or checked from the items that are available. Great. But what if we want to get a list of items that they are not selected? So basically, do we have a property called unselected items or anything like that? Now, the question is, that: do we really need that? Well, in this video, we want to talk about it. But before we get there, I want to tell you why I am so interested in this topic. Today, I got this question from one of my connections on LinkedIn. Is there a way we can get non-selected items from the combo box in a Canvas application? Copilot and GPT says combo box.items as a property, but I don't think dot items work for combo box. You know, I have a soft spot for this AI. So anything that AI doesn't give you answer, I'm really interested in getting into it. And that's why as soon as I get this question, I was like, yes, I want to make a video about it. Okay, so thank you, Emmett. I'm going to show you how to do that. The answer is simple. Unselected items are items minus selected items. If that is just enough, you can go ahead with that. If not, stay with me and I will show you how to do it. For our setup, this is what I have done. Inside SharePoint, I have a list called products list, and I already made a connection to this products list, and I can insert a combo box. I can pick modern or classic for this one. I recently released a course about Power Apps modern controls, so let's pick modern controls. And I simply connect it to the products list. Whatever it says, replace columns, I don't care. I just add the combo box here. And if I run it and if I click on this drop down, you will see all the items that I have inside this list. Great. But for this one to really act like a combo box and less like a list box, I want to enable multi select. So all of a sudden, my combo box looks like this. So the user can pick multiple items. So as I mentioned, items is easy. We just picked it up from the SharePoint list. Selected items is also a property. So if I want to insert a data table here, and instead of product list, I can go to the items and say combo box three, I guess, dot selected items. It's going to show me the selected items. I can go to the edit fields and add the fields that I want. So in this case, I want to pick title, right? And very nicely, it works in a dynamic way. So if I just remove tent, tent is going to go away. Air purifier is simply added. So great. But what if you want to have unselected items? And that's the same thing. So I just pick this data table and I make a copy of it. And instead of selected items, I can simply say combo box tree or whatever that is dot items. It doesn't give you anything, but we know it is coming from SharePoint. So instead of combo box canvas, I can simply go back and say products list, which is literally the same thing. I want to filter it out for the items that their ID, this record dot ID is not in the list of the IDs of the selected items. So it's going to be combo box canvas tree dot selected items dot ID because it works only in the single column tables. And if you have a table or array and I just put dot and the field name, it just gives me a one single column that contains all the values. So I would say if it is not in it, which is fine, I can simply put not in the beginning and and close it in the bracket and close the bracket. How do you like it? Just like that, all the selected items are here and non-selected items are here. If I remove tent from here, tent becomes selected and it disappears from here. And microphone, it's added to the unselected items. Laptop goes there. 
and the same way you can play with it. And if you really like this new combo box and you think this modern thingies are cool, the course Microsoft Power Apps Modern Controls is out, it's available. I already released the free course coupons, so they are all gone. Now I have some discount coupons. They will be available for the next four days from the day that I release this video. This is the most discount that Udemy allows instructors to apply to their course coupons. And this is for everybody who missed the first release of the free course coupons for the course. All right, thank you for watching. And if you watched this video up to this point, I'm pretty sure you liked it. So show me some love and push that like button. Right next to that like button, probably you also see the subscribe button. If you haven't pushed that, probably it's the time to push that button and make my day. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you soon in the next one.